Xavier University is getting a big check today. Congressman Troy Carter will join university officials to celebrate the start of a project that will bring a uh, new STEM and pre-health advising center. Uh, Congressman Carter is joining us via uh, Zoom right now to talk about the uh, project and what it means for Xavier and for students there. Uh, and this is a pretty big deal. Yes, thank you, Eric. How are you today? Very good. We're very excited about this project. This gives us an opportunity to uh, bring direct funding to Xavier University. This $2.5 million will help kickstart the project that will create a STEM center at the St. Michael's dormitory, uh, a dormitory that holds significant and historic value. But now we'll have an opportunity to create an expanded pre-health advising and tu tutorial center for STEM, science, technology, energy, um, engineering rather, and math. This is a huge opportunity to transform this um, dormitory into a center of uh, engineering and math excellence, uh, something I'm very, very proud of. This funding will allow the upper floors to be new classrooms, STEM education, um, and this is a part of our uh, direct spending of some $31.5 million that I've been able to bring back from Congress and community projects as a part of our appropriations. Yeah, and, and Xavier's been known for a long time for, uh, you know, teaching future doctors, pharmacists. They've been very big in, in the, the medical community, and they want to expand that even more. Absolutely. This gives the opportunity. Uh, Xavier University is known internationally for uh, not only getting the most uh, African Americans into medical school, but also seeing them through graduation and actually becoming medical doctors. Uh, a program that rivals many others across the country. Xavier's uh, Hard Sciences has been a program that uh, is incredibly uh, renowned for excellence. And this gives a yet another opportunity to hone in on that, create more capacity uh, to provide this kind of education. And, and where's this money coming from? The, this is a part of the United States Congress uh, community projects, community projects that are intended to specifically enhance um, the, the local parts of our district uh, to identify worthwhile projects throughout, in this case, throughout uh, Congressional District uh, LA02, uh, a project that will be able to have community benefit that will have uh, an enhancement to a project or program. Uh, these are direct uh, allocations from our congressional appropriations. And if I can switch gears for a second to the, to the war in Ukraine, President Biden is asking the Congress for $33 billion in aid. That's a lot. That's on top of the billions that this country has already given. Uh, Speaker Nancy Pelosi was in Ukraine. Uh, and told uh, Volodymyr Zelensky that that the U.S. Uh, will will be with there with them until a victory is won. Is that administration policy, or is she just uh, um, you know speaking uh, uh, at least in her opinion on that? No, I think it's it's universal. I think the uh, the administration and the Congress have spoken in one voice. Uh, this has been an incredibly unifying. Um, uh, effort between House Democrats, Republicans, Senate Democrats, Republicans, a completely bipartisan effort recognizing that we must protect our flanks and we must protect democracy all over the world for America to continue to enjoy uh, freedom. So and, and standing with our, our brothers and sisters in Ukraine is very much a part of policy that protects us as well. And, and no matter how long it goes, if this becomes a, a war that goes on, I mean, some people have said it, it could go for months more, even years more. Well, you know, we, we, we are, we find ourselves, along with our NATO partners, protecting our allies. Uh, it's unfortunate that Putin has started this war, but it's important to America and all of our allies that we strengthen our flanks and protect. Um, and if it means sending additional resources, as the Congress has done, um, we're committed to doing that. And we'll have to just kind of play this day by day, week by week, month by month. But the one thing we want to be abundantly clear on is America will not run. America will stand up and protect its allies and will maintain its place as a superpower by making sure that we are protecting democracy all over the world 
because by protecting democracy all over the world, we maintain the protections for Americans. All right, Congressman, thank you very much. Appreciate that. We'll look for you at uh, Xavier. Congressman Carter will be presenting a $2.5 million check to Xavier University later today at St. Michael Residency Hall, which is where the center will be located. He'll be joined by a host of university officials to talk about how the money will fund the new STEM and pre-health student advising center. Multiple New Orleans council members will also be there. We'll, of course, be there and bring you coverage coming up on later.